welcome back to another one of my taste test videos. Today, I'm doing another in the series of best plate lunches in Hawaii. If you haven't seen my other local style videos, I'm gonna put a link above and a link in the description box below, but you should really check out those videos as well. Today, I went to Mililani restaurant to try their famous fried noodles and show you chicken. Oh my gosh, so I have heard forever about Mililani restaurant's fried noodles. Look how huge it is. Look at that. It's like so heavy. It's like for like 10 people, I think. I mean, this is really like catering size to me. It's not like a plate lunch, but anyway, it's so huge. So I wanted to try it because they are known for it. Looks like they have like fried salmon and they have like egg and they have, it looks like luncheon meat, but I'm not 100% sure. Look at that. So I'm really excited to try this. This also comes with a side of macaroni salad, which I'm not a fan of macaroni salad, but I'll try it anyway. Okay, so anyway, here we go. Okay, so I'm noticing that it also has like, maybe like cabbage or something in it too. That's really good because I really like vegetables in my fried salmon. But let's try it. I love fried salmon. My favorite fried salmon up until this point has been from Leeward Drive-In and I did a review of them too so you can check that out in the playlist that I linked earlier. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It looks really good. The difference between fried salmon and regular fried noodles is that the taste is very different. It has more of a um, like an umami taste. It has like the taste of like salmon broth which is usually generally very um, I don't know, it's rich, it's it's kind of seafoodish, but not really, it's very hard to describe. But anyway, this is fried salmon and not fried noodles, which is very different. Okay, let me try it. Oh my god, that is so good! Okay, first of all, the noodles are cooked so well. They have like a really nice chew to them. They're not like, um... Like some places that I went, the, actually the fried noodles like stuck together. But these are really good. And these have like just the right consistency of what I would think fried salmon should look like. And it's thick noodles, but it's not like overly like, uh, like overly dense. Like it holds onto the flavor really well. And that flavor is so, so good. It has like a really nice like a... Uh, bold rich flavor it has almost a soy flavor but not really it also has like an underlying like a uh, meat flavor to it i don't know how to describe it but it's really rich it's not like um it's not sweet sometimes you go and you get fried noodles from local places and they're sweet this one is not sweet and i really like that this is really good another thing that i really like about this is that I'm not a fan of like green onions. People usually put green onions on their fried salmon, but this one doesn't have it. I didn't even have to ask them to leave it off. Anyway, I, what I really like is I like the toppings that they put on this. The little bit of cabbage that they have in there gives it a nice crunch. And the egg and the luncheon meat give it like that extra flavor. It's really good. I really like this. I think this might be... I'm not sure between this and Leeward Drive-In. I, I kind of have to think about that for a bit. But it's kind of at least top two of my um, favorite fried salmons on the island. So it's between this and Leeward Drive-In. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to try was their shoyu chicken. And they're also famous for their shoyu chicken, so I'm really excited about that. But look how heavy this plate is. Look how much chicken there is in there. And one thing that I like right off the bat, can you see that? Look at the um, the shoyu sauce on there. It looks so rich. It's not just like just regular like a thin shoyu sauce. It's like thick shoyu sauce. That looks so, so good. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to begin with this. Okay, you know what I really like about this? It's like, you know that shoyu, that thick shoyu sauce? It's hanging on to the skin of this chicken. It looks so flavorful. Okay, let me try it. It's really good. The thing that I like most about it is that thick shoyu soy sauce. It's so thick that it sticks to the chicken when you eat it, which is so good. And the shoyu sauce is, um, very sweet but it's also like it has a right nice rich flavor so it's not just sweet 
It's so, so delicious. It has almost like a, um, like a Chinese five spice uh, taste to it. It's a lot richer than just regular shoyu chicken. It, it tastes like, it almost tastes like plum sauce because of the way that it's seasoned. It's really good. And I know that they use like um, pieces of white chicken and I actually prefer um, thighs because they're a little bit to me, a little bit juicier, a little bit tastier. But it really doesn't matter because the sauce is so, so good. Look at that. It's really good. I think this is probably one of the better shoyu chickens that I've ever eaten. And that's really saying something. Okay, I am super, super impressed by all the food that I tried at Milani Drive-In. I mean, I have been told for years that they have the best fried noodles on the island and I'm like, hello, Leeward Drive-In. But, you know, I have to say that they're probably one and two or like two and one. For me, I don't know which one comes first right now. I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm gonna have to eat this and then I'm gonna have to go to Leeward Drive-In, eat their noodles, and then go back to Milani restaurant and eat their noodles. Nah, you, you get my point. Anyway, they're probably like one of the top two fried salmon in the entire island and that's really saying something. So anyway, also they have like very unique shoyu chicken, which most shoyu chicken from Hawaii is like that, uh, you know, like those pieces of chicken that they boil in shoyu and the shoyu sauce is like really thin and poured all over. This is so different. The sauce is like super thick, super rich, and it gives everything such a great flavor. It is so, so good. I'm so glad I tried it. But anyway, if you are on the island of Oahu and you happen to be by Mililani area, you should really check out Mililani restaurant because they have amazing food. I mean, I'm going to have to go back. <laughs> but anyway, go check them out. Go support them. Support our local businesses. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you.